uh, welcome back. And that was we saw highlights during the break of the Nigeria Professional Football League uh, Super Series. Some good games still ongoing. We had three games so far. And of course, coaches are looking forward to what they would want to give today in the other round of matches. We have a guest in the studio, Shola Rogers, uh, sports administrator or sports journalist, is right here joining us on the program. Shola Rogers, it's good to have you and good morning to you. It's a pleasure to be <laughs> here, guys. It's always a pleasure to be here. Okay. Um, Take it with uh, what we have, fixtures for today. Yeah, we'll start with that. Yeah, quickly. Yeah. L let's do that. I, I was tempted to ask you about the weekend, maybe a summary of. But, but, let but let's start with the fixtures. Match day four. Maybe we'll get to that later. Um, MPFL uh, Championship Playoffs. Uh, let's take a look at match day four. That's it right there uh, on your, your screen. You have um, Rangers uh, taking on Kano Pillars. You have Aqua United taking on Lobby Stars. You have um, Aimba taking on FC. You find you bar. These are the matches for match day four. Mm. Uh, but um, let me get your thoughts. Uh, I know you had. You were there on match day two. Yeah, uh, you saw, you saw, the I saw a couple of games. Yeah. And... But today, based on what you saw on match day two, what, what, what do you think the pendulum will swing in some of these matches? Rangers, Cano Pilas is going to be a cracker. I, um, I don't know how this one will pan out. Uh, Cano Pilas seems to be bullish. You know, they're picking the points the way they should be. And um, the other game that's like a dead rubber is also very going to be important. Uh, if I have lost virtually mm -hmm. everything, everything at the Super 6, but anybody need to continue to put points on the board, Terrible, yes. hoping that uh, Rangers can do them a favor. But it's um, actually Cano Pilas is um, title to lose the way things are now. Because they're seven, they've got seven points. We checked mm -hmm. the mini table that they have. They have seven points, Amber six, and uh, Aqua United, they've got also five, yeah. then Rangers four. But then, Lobby Stars and if I remember, it seems it's all over. That's for it. Uh, to yes. properly situate mm -hmm. it, that, that's it uh, on the screen. Uh, Shola uh, hinted, uh, Pillars, I mean, they've not lost. Yeah. They have seven they points. Unbeaten. And uh, followed by Imba, uh, Aqua United, Rangers, Lobby Stars, and FC Ifan Yoba. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They, they can't afford to lose today. That's bottom line. Why can't they afford to lose? They've <laughs> lost a couple already. <laughs> Maybe they should just continue in the same fashion. <laughs> but, you know, you start to wonder how... Um, it's different. The FC Invariant that you saw during the regular season exactly. is different from the one at the Super, so Six. The Super 6. It's the same team, but the way they're playing, the yes, way they're yes. losing to these same guys that they would have um, at least gotten points for. Yeah. Another thing about the Super 6 is the neutral ground. The fact that um, everybody's playing mm -hmm. in Lagos. There's no Lagos team involved, mm -hmm. so there's no pressure Pressure, pressure on anybody. The and fans are there to support. Officiating has been very pressure. good and all of that. You start to think Look, this format, eh? <laughs> we, we feel expand yeah, down. Can we keep you it? Know? Because the, the, the truth is, there are no issues. You're not going to hear about uh, home advantage or any of those things, you know. I'm, I'm impressed so far. Okay, all yeah, right. The game between Aimba and Lobby mm -hmm, Stars and all mm -hmm. that, I, I, I was surprised because I, I thought Lobby Stars, I mean, coming into the game, I keep saying how the coach said they were the fittest team and all that, how yeah, good they right. were and everything. <laughs> but like that first game that they won was just a fluke and it was Ifa Aimba, of course. I'm not trying to put the entire back down. We know that most of the players are young players, you know, inexperienced and all that. No players that we've known, you know, for a long time in the league. But then this uh, 3-1 win over Lobby Stars may have just turned the table around for Aimba and contender for the title also. Honestly, and um, the way Aimba have been set up, and you start to wonder, there's some players have not even featured, mm -hmm. you know. It shows you the depth in the Aimba team. I, I was really impressed with the, the way they played uh, match day one, match day two. Mm -hmm. And um, it still goes down to the way Kano players have been so solid, you right. know. They've been a perfect team because defensively, they've been very good. In the middle of the park, they've been doing the business, of right. course, and they're getting the goals. Okay. Let's take some reactions from, from this game. Uh, the, the coaches, the players, uh, from the two sides that you have right there on your screen, Aimba and Lobby Stars. Uh, I sat down and watched the, the match against uh, Kano Pillars. It's, uh, it's unfortunate we, we lost that match, but uh, that's God of soccer because we had a lot of chances in that match. And uh, I think we are destined to lose that match. So, so we've already put that in our si uh, aside and uh, try and uh, counsel the boys and uh, let them remain focused and uh, come back and uh, 
and, and win this match. And I think they, they've done a very wonderful job today. Yeah, I, I thought normally I've targeted uh, uh, three matches, uh, have uh, nine straight points, but uh, unfortunately I'm with six now, and uh, which means I have to go back and search for the for the third, uh, for the fourth match if I can get another three points. But I've already said it. I've predicted that it's going to be a different scenario in this Super Six, and it's proven to be very very tough. When you look at it, this is the third time, this is the third game we've played, and and the and the, uh, the opportunity is still open for everybody. For almost five teams, they all have the opportunity to take them. So, so it's, it's interesting, I think, yes. This match was the toughest match because of the first two games we played. It was not that too hard, but I th this was a game that we didn't, we didn't even expect that it's going to be a difficult one. But along the line, the match was a tough one, though we put our effort and thank God we got the victory. All right, I was coach Osman uh, Abdallah and uh, Ruben. Uh, Bala, uh, the midfielder there. Today they're playing uh, 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 Ifan <laughs> And it's probably good for them uh, that gra gradually get into their swing. I, I, I know, I know uh, EFC Ifan fans will not like me for what I'm about to say, but this match is like a walkover. It's 3.3 .3 goals. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. Okay, Ifan Yuba, fine. They lost to Canopilas. But if you they check lost that loss, everybody. I mean, they, they checked the loss. It was 2-1. They scored a goal. Yeah, Masi right. actually tried, Emmanuel Masi tried to get them into the game. Canopilas had a penalty. Rabi Ali, of course, is scoring uh, the two, uh, uh, scoring from the penalty spot. Ebuka David also uh, giving them a goal. So it wasn't really that like uh, a walkover for Canopilla. So they wouldn't have to struggle. If you can see pictures from that game, they wouldn't have to I struggle know, to I beat know. if I But so I just know. don't, I mean, don't write them off. We understand. <laughs> let, let me tell you what happened. Match day one, uh, yeah. we were at the stadium and I was talking to uh, some colleagues and after the first set of games, everybody, with about six or seven of us were like, looks like, if I remember, we lose to everybody. <laughs> and so far, that prediction is coming. And there's always little time to recover. Little time. Just the spaces in between the matches. There's little time to recover. And once your, your head is not put straight, you know, sometimes. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's take some reactions mm. from uh, the games. Still, I hinted. I talked about earlier. Low B stars. I mean, sorry. Kind of players and FC If I But let's take some reactions Can from that game uh, and come back for more. You look at the Ifanyuba, it's a, also it's a very good team. You know, uh, when they realize when they lost this match, they don't have any hope. It says they will come like a wounded lion. So it's not easy to play those kind of team who are, be the, it's like they don't have confidence in the tournament. So any team will play them at this stage, you, you will not get it easy. Don't say I'm lucky, no. I deserve to win this match. If you look at the scoring chances, I lost. I supposed to beat you by like five, six goals, but the uh, Kano Pillars is not a great team and it's not a new scene. Even when you look at the uh, uh, last uh, this league, uh, we beat them 3-0. We managed, uh, the, we lost 1-0 at uh, Epanyu Uba by shootout. Just I'm targeting one match. It's okay for me, Rangers, which is a great, another great match for me when I will Rangers. So, I've got what, you, what I want. I believe this is one of the toughest games we've played in this uh, Super Six. And we came out, every of our effort was, was shown and we utilized all our chances. Yeah, that, that doesn't really matter. It's all about the, it all depends on the coach. You know, coach has his, has, has his own list. So me coming, coming from the bench, I'm, 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 I'm not angry. At least for me coming inside, I'm making, a, I'm making an impact. So for, it was a good game for the both sides. And so the good game for the expectation that won the match. It was a good game. But everybody in the field saw what happened. The FA are biased and they are not encouraging us. We, we are the, we, the younger player in the MPFA, they are not encouraging us to push other. Because when you are pushing someone is spoiling your efforts, you feel weak, you feel down. We all believe in miracles. It's only miracle. But we know we've not lost all of our hope. We still believe, we're still pushing. We are still playing. That's why we are here. My what I intend is to try and let us keep the bulk of the players. If it's adding additional just four or five players, I think the team will be okay. Look at your cap with there. I mean, already looking for, towards yeah, I mean, next yeah. season. He knows that it's all over. Mm -hmm. But Jim Ongbada, what's he trying to then say that I mean, younger players, come on. I don't know. It was, it Play was, your best and it, win. He was not impressed with the officiating. Well, 
Look, and they are strong words. We, we need to be honest with ourselves. We need to realize that there will never be perfect mm -hmm. officiating. Ever. With VAR, yeah, there are yeah, still issues. Mm -hmm. England has suffered it twice in two games in, in five days now. So it's a global thing. Mm -hmm. But so far at this tournament, I've seen very good officiating. Yeah. If I'm going to score yeah. them, if I've scored them as an independent person, I'll give them at least 70 to 80%. And that's mm -hmm. huge. Which is really you know? cool. So, so he, might, might, he might have his yeah. reasons. He might have had a decision go against him. Yeah. But it's not enough for us to make a sweeping statement to Over say that. Everything. Just right, right. Right. Nah. Yeah. So on Jimo, this one, I won't agree. Okay, Jimo, but I'm say, I hope Just you understand what it is. Take, take it, it easy. easy. And don't worry, next season you guys will be better. But we can't the last man. coach. I mean, I love what he said. The confidence level is actually high. He said, when we beat Rangers, he didn't say if. We're talking about Rangers here, <laughs> not even about that. It'd be I two one. Love the confidence on that guy, man. Right, I said, yeah, he's just uh, speaking like he should. You get, and he, I hope he impacts that on his players yeah. too. We've seen how they played in Agege here in Lagos. It's been beautiful. Rangers actually have been playing very good football. Mm -hmm. Even when the results didn't go their way, it, it wasn't as if they didn't play well. Yeah, the one so they lost today to today is like the finals for me because the way. Rangers have played, and the way Kano have played, everybody should try to catch this one at the uh, stage. I, I just understand. hope that a team can sustain the tempo and, and the momentum so that the, team, the teams that do pick the tickets to represent us on the continent will probably still keep themselves at this level. I hope so. I hope so. Because, yeah, I mean, um, you know, we've always had that issue of timing where when the league is over, the other countries mm -hmm. are still playing. Hopefully this is going to be corrected mm -hmm. in a few weeks' time. So once we can align with the rest of the world, we start to play football again, because our guys need to play. But if it doesn't happen yet, they probably need to organize something like this again mm -hmm. for them. Maybe a four club tournament. Now, the four teams that are going on the continent should just, you know, like a tune up tournament yeah. or something okay. because they need to play competitive football. Okay, that's it right there. All right, let's move from the Super Six now and go straight to the Super Eagles of Nigeria against Zimbabwe on Saturday. It was goalless. And of course, for the team right now in Egypt preparing for the Nations Cup. And the players that were picked, they've arrived in Egypt. And the players that were picked was the one that actually generated a lot of controversies and all that. Some people felt, no, Simi Ajay should have been there. One team should have been dropped. And not someone right here who said that one team shouldn't go to the Nations Cup. But then the coach feels he's better than Simi. Simi does not really understand. Maybe African football is still the Ibo type. But then you have the NHL, of course. I mean, no doubt about that. And these guys are here. They've actually left social media because of the flanks they've been getting. Yeah. If you were in the coach issue, I mean, maybe you were just a coach, would you have Ian Acho and uh, Ajay? Look, he, he could only take 23, right? Mm, yeah. And he dropped two. Two. There's no two names that will come up that people would agree 100%. There will never be a perfect list. But now you put it to me, if I was going to drop, yeah. yes, I would have dropped Ian Acho based on current form, mm -hmm. based on recent performances mm -hmm. for club and country. However, this might sound controversial, I would have preferred Ajayi that he dropped to Leon Balogun okay. because Ajayi had a very active season. Go and check out his stats as against Leon Balogun who didn't really play active football this season. The, the, the aspect of this list that a lot of people are talking about that gets me a bit worried, you have seven or eight defenders, you have just one left back. Yeah. In the tournament, if you're going to win, you're going to play like six, seven games. What if he gets injured? What if he picks up suspension? I don't see any of those other guys feeling in that, that could back. play in that position. Doesn't that worry? It does, actually, because what you should do is have a cover for every position. Two exactly. for every position. Like five That's central, five central defense, two right backs, just one left back. Yeah. So maybe Raw has seen that some of these guys could play can at left back. play at left back okay. Okay. for him to have a... Pick this team like this. They have the full squad there, starting with goalkeepers Francis Ozoi, Kichkwe Zewa, and Danny Akme. No doubt about this. Defenders Ola Ola Ino, Sheo Abdullahi, Chidozie, I was the him that had some controversy and all that. William Trust Ekong, Leon Balogun, Kenneth Omeru, Jamilu Collins also making the call to the midfielders. You have just three. Mikalobi, we friend in the day. We're going to carry Etebo and John Ugu. Yeah, we actually have four. Where did I see three from? <laughs> four right there. Forwards, Ahmed Musa, Victor Simeon, Moses, Simon, Henry, Yekuru, Odin, Galo, Alexandra, uh, Alexi Wobi. Then you have uh, Samuel Kalu, Paul Onoachu, and Samuel Chukwezi. All of them making the squad right there. How many 
forward guys. Strikers look, one, two, I'm three, excited. four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm actually excited. So we need to score eight, eight goals each. Uh, yeah, right. Burundi, <laughs> <laughs> Madagascar, and Guinea. Come nah, on. Now nah basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're about to I'm actually excited. very excited with the list of forwards. The yeah. beauty of this is that some of these guys can actually play in the middle. Yeah. So I met Musa can play in the middle. A couple of them can play in the middle and also still, still play up front. So most of the midfielders that we see can play as DMs or AMs. It's, mm -hmm. it's really just, he has a good it's squad. Perfect. It's looking like a very good selection, okay. you know. And I'm so, so excited that Chukweze, Osime, players, Kalu, those kind of players are coming. They're coming with their flair, their youth and speed, you know, that we need to mix that up with the experience. And hunger. You know, okay. yeah, because they must get something out of this. And so, but we didn't I, see I the like, hunger in this game against Zimbabwe. We need to be careful. It's a friendly game. Okay. There was really nothing. And the coach said the rain too. Yes, uh, you know, there's a quote uh, that um, he said he has never felt cold in yeah. Nigeria before until that day, <laughs> and that's for someone on the sidelines. Imagine what the guys on the field with jerseys and uh, they're exposed Don't to the elements and everything. Running. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so easy. But but on a serious tip, man. Eh, I won't put much. I won't read much into this game. Okay. It was a good run out for the lads, and at least a, a send off of some sorts for Nigerian fans to see their team before they leave for Egypt, which they eventually did. Now we need to get down and look at Egypt proper and see how the Afcon will play out. So let's not get worried about how this friendly went because it was indeed a friendly game. Okay, indeed a friendly game it was. Now let's take a look at the ones that were in. Uh, that were not friendly. Now, the real job has started. We're talking about the FIFA Women's World Cup, where uh -huh. the Super Falcons of Nigeria, again, uh, losing uh, to Norway in the opening game, three goals to nothing. I mean, people are already shaking their heads right there in the studio. But then these girls tried to give their all. The first half, they were not settled, so they got three goals and an own goal also, helping to complete the three. But then in the second half, that's when they realized, yes, it's real business, but then it was too late. You know, my, shall I, my angle to this, you look at South Africa, the pack, the boss, they almost won. Uh, made life difficult for Spain. We went to that game. Exposed go to to to. Everything. You can't be better than the Europeans at this game. Use was your advantage, which is your physicality. And for me, I think that's where we lost it. Europeans were physical too. <clears throat> they were actually more physical they were more than physical, us. They, no, and no, all no. That. You, you guys are right. Coming from the angles that you're coming from, for me, I want to agree with me a lot with the tactics that we displayed. displayed. I, I didn't understand what we were playing. From the list that I saw on FIFA's graphics, it looked like we were oh, playing a 4-3-3. Three, three. Three, three, yes. but, but at some point, you don't understand who is your point man, who is Assisat mm -hmm. supporting or who is supporting Assisat. We were sure that uh, Odega was playing out wide. Mm -hmm. She was playing from the flanks. Then the, you Assisat will see Assisat play out right from, on yeah. seven. By the time she drifts in to mm -hmm. play nine, then Opara Noze will go out. You get. But the real problem was in the middle. There was no service. There was no service for the forwards. Mm -hmm. So there was nobody to carry the ball. Or oh, Ale and Cole, they really tried, but it wasn't good enough. Parking the bus is not even what I would have played. Yeah. I would have played more midfielders. Mm -hmm. Choke up the midfield so that you... But they don't you really force, have it. I mean, you we'll force them. Because Super Falcon score, they don't have it. That's the problem. But if you want to play Norway, you can't play them with that 4-3-3 with too much space. Space, space yeah. You get... So you choke up the midfield. At least you have two DMs. Reduce the advantage. You know? That way you force them to go wide, and when you go wide, that's where your strength is. Now let's be honest with ourselves. Was that our best team? Look, sentiments aside, do you really think that some of the players that played at the weekend were supposed to be there? The, of three goals that we considered, two of them were errors by our players. Mm -hmm, One yeah. was um, on a man's hand, yeah. you okay. know, her hand. She deflection. used her hand, a uh, deflection off her hand. I, a defender even shouldn't have her hands playing about in the first place. A hand hit the ball and brought it into our own goal, goal post. He had sent the keeper wrong. Then the other own goal, the pressure. you know, because she was trying to mark and everything. No player goes out to make mistakes. But when those mistakes have been made, we need to understand them. Why were we playing zone marking for our, the, uh, for our corners? Okay. Nigeria kept on playing zone. And for people who don't understand, zone is when you just pick a spot and mm -hmm. stay there. Yeah. I would, have preferred, man, I would have preferred man marking. Okay. Zone, you only mark the people who come into your zone in a, in a zone situation. But man marking for our corners, if you notice, they knew you were playing zone. So they played yeah. a very the uncon said that. unconventional okay. um, corner by going short. They went short. Okay. And that threw us off. Okay, the games we'll be expecting today, of course, Cameroon also will be playing. We'll see if they can get their opening game and also get a goal for, students, uh, for South Africa. 
uh, they got something, Argentina and Japan World to be in action. That's Group D action uh, starting today for the games at the FIFA Women's World Cup. We need to go on a break now. We will come back. We'll be looking at the Nigerian Pitch Awards where channels, of course, again, winning the Kids Cup. <laughs> Okay, it's time to talk about the Nigerian Pitch Awards, a special recognition awards that was given to Channels uh, International Kids Cup, to Channels Television for the project, which is the Channels International Kids Cup. We'll just run through uh, the major winners on the night, starting with the players, the king of the pitch, the queen of the pitch, and of course, coach of the year, national team of the year, which went to Super Bowl, because we know about that. These are selected <coughs> winners yeah. right here, Yemi. All right. Yeah. Nigeria Pitch Awards, let me see if I can run through this quickly. Goalkeeper of the year, uh, Francis Odinaka Uzoho, Defender of the Year, uh, William Trust Ekong, Midfielder of the Year, Wilfred Indidi, Striker of the Year, goes to Odion Igalo, MVP in the uh, MPFL, Junior Locosta, MVP in the NWFL, we have Rashida uh, Ajiba, the Club of the Year, Rangers International Coach uh, of the Year, Benga Ogumbote, National Team of the Year, the Super Falcons, uh, Queen of the Pitch, uh, went to Francisca Odega, you have King of the Pitch, Ahmed Musa, you have a special recognition award uh, going to Channels Television uh, for impacting the youth and uh, uh, you know discovering the gen uh, next generation talent with the Channels International Kids Cup. A quick question: A lot of people will say your stars winning the MVP MPF and left. They're not even in the league. They're both out of Nigeria. That was what uh, actually because it came was last out. season. It wasn't yeah, but season. it's yeah. also a reflection of how our league is that we will still continue to lose our best legs, our best Brain hands, drink. yeah, to the other leagues outside Nigeria, and not just Europe now, so we're we talking about, it. yeah, you know, and um, uh, congratulations to Channels TV mm -hmm. for this one, 
it's a honor well deserved. Uh, you've been consistent bringing the Kids Cup for 11 seasons or there about now. That's massive, you know. There's hardly any name on that list. Of, but I'm wondering, uh, Uzoho as goalkeeper of the year. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But is there a word? So, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. is there a word? would have been better. Sorry? I feel like I would have been better. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, you know, but of course, they had a panel of voting and all yeah. of that. So and you know, nobody, like, and like it, you said earlier, nobody will ever be satisfied with no, another yeah, person's there will never choice. Be a and administrator of the year going to Shea Akinwumi also, what is it? She, she has done <laughs> no, uh, well. Sam Okoraji's award, I mean, development and all that. She, she has done well, especially in the area of grassroots sports. He's done a whole lot of stuff. And uh, again, he's back in Lagos for another four years now. And uh, I pray that um, they'll step up their game and do more for, yeah. for the kids. Okay, let's get uh, what, how uh, channels into uh, Channels actually got that special recognition award for uh, the Channels International Kids Cup. Austin O'Connor receiving uh, the award on behalf of Channels Television. Also, let's listen to the CEO of the Peach Awards, Gina Phillips, uh, talking about uh, uh, the reasons uh, behind uh, the special recognition uh, award given to uh, Channels Television. The indices are there. I mean, you can tell. Uh, the, the, the Channel's Kids Cup is everywhere. It's, it's, it's more like air you breathe in terms of when you, when you think about football. We don't just seek to say, oh, no, because we are on channels. We are also in other media uh, uh, platform. But we have seen that painstaking process have been put in place. This idea was so well conceived. I must really congratulate the chairman of, the, of Channel's TV and the entire team because... Everyone always wants to look high up there without consideration for what is low. And you don't get up there if you never start from down. And so what Channels has done with this idea for us is brilliant. Without having to think it twice, every member of the committee instantly decided that Channels must take this. So if Channels picks it 12 times more, we'll gladly give it to them. Yeah, we can right. have it 50 times. We're not complaining. As long as the kids come, we'll keep, you know. We're not complaining. <laughs> We're, not complaining. We're not complaining. We're not complaining. We love it. W we what is basically <laughs> said that it's about merit. Yeah. That's what you said there, that the panel looked at it, and it, it was a unanimous decision sure. that Channels TV uh, deserves it. There's no argument about it. What we're just going to ask is that let other brands also come up and pick other aspects of sports mm -hmm. to support. So we need to get these kids off the streets mm -hmm. and get them into proper academies and proper structures. And so it's not philanthropy. You can, you, can, you can make money doing it as well. It's not, doing those it's not people, CSR. Yeah, people should stop. It's not. There's it, big money it's, in it's gone from CSR to business, yeah. big business. And we know we've said that sports is big business. All right. Okay, that's let's, the way it is. Let's go to now the let's papers. Yes. With a few minutes we have left. Mm -hmm. We're starting with uh, Sporting Life here. And it's all about Super Eagles list. All the players are going to making it to Egypt. We have the pictures here. Sports in life, and the headline here says, uh, "Get it raw to Ajay Ienacho. Enjoy your break." Okay, <laughs> and very good training. He's smiling today. Uh, Mika surpasses Kanu's record, plays 87 games for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Ienacho to have full Leicester preseason. What else? I think that's good for him. Gonna I think that's, it's going to be the plan. That's what I've always wanted for this young I, man. I don't really be the plans of the coach. I don't know where we're over. Stretching this uh, yeah, issue sure. of yeah. Ayana Cho being dropped and everything. Players have been dropped in the past. Mm -hmm. Players will come, players will go. Yeah. Now, if I am close to him or anybody that's close to him, should tell him that he shouldn't see this as a setback. He should just see it as a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that you have talent. That's why people are worried for you. You know, uh, a few months ago, Raw had hinted when he talked about how playful 
it was and yeah. I, you, I'm sure you guys remember mm -hmm. that so I was expecting this and he hasn't really had a good uh, selling someone that was playing at Man City mm -hmm. that was right. benching uh, Jesus now goes to Leicester and they're benching him then there's a problem somewhere. Problem somewhere. So he has to step up his game and nobody can do it for him. Only him can do this for himself. All right. He's seizing an opportunity to really do that. Mourinho willing to talk to Newcastle if... Okay, it's all still a season. Now, United won Gareth Bale on loan and Real Madrid and Man United beginning talks with Paul Pogba. Is okay. this going to happen or not? Sporting son. Okay. Uh, Yena Chetra. Still on. That's what it is. And Geneto explaining Leicester strikers remission and all that. And Falcon says... They will bounce back. This is coming from the coach, uh, Thomas. Your yeah, thoughts on that one? Korea lost. They lost. It's it's a winnable game for us. It's a winnable game for us. You know, I said it here a few weeks ago. I was predicting that we will get a draw against Norway. They don't fall my hand for that one. Okay. We will beat Korea. Because then, France beat them. <laughs> then the France one. I'll travel. I won't be around to yeah, we, the France game. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, last bit of a review as we prepare to leave the studio. Uh, it's going to be complete spot the uh, Monday edition. All of the stories in here are some of the stories we already uh, talked about. Uh, Mikel saying he's still motivated to play uh, for uh, the Eagles. We have Semi Ajayi got her to miss first AFCON. All the stories centered around. <laughs> centered around. And there's a comment attributed to Roni saying, signing Ronaldo and Messi won't solve United's problem. Is it that deep? I yes. agree. <laughs> Is it I, that deep? I agree with him. I agree with him. It's not about the players alone that you bring in. It's about the entire team. They need a full rejig. Six players. Six. No, minimum. Mm, minimum. Minimum. Six. So it could be more than that. And yeah. Eseba is saying that we can't afford to fail in Egypt. What, what, not failing. What's, what's the failure definition of failure? Exactly. Yeah. What's the definition of failure? Failure is relative. Maybe he's talking about winning the tournament. Maybe he's talking about making it to the finals. Maybe uh, failure for him is not what's being able... What's your definition of failure? My definition of at failure the at the Nations Cup is us not winning. Wow. Okay. As a Nigerian, as a Nigerian, we want to win AFCON. All right. So if we don't win, we have failed. Okay. As an analyst, if we get to the semi-finals, I good. will be very happy. Okay. All right. Okay. Shall I just want to thank you for your time on the show today. Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate your input and analysis. I also want to thank you for allowing us to be a part of your day. We're going to do this again uh, tomorrow. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Bye-bye now. And I'm Cecilia Mogbe. Have a good day.